This part work has been supplied to me free of charge from fanhome.com. Please pop along to their website and see all of the other build-up part works that they have to offer, as well as other collections of collectible things. I would like to thank Fan Home for providing me with the part work so I can produce these videos for your enjoyment and educational needs. If you'd like to build one of your own, pop along to fanhome.com. They're available in many countries worldwide. If you do want to build one, leave a note in the comments to let me know how you're getting on. So thank you once more to Fan Home for providing me with this kit. I hope you enjoy the build. Hello, I'm Chris. This is Gross Models. Welcome to issue 37 of Building Kit from Fan Home and Knight Rider and Universal and me. So yes, uh, in the magazine, we're looking at the series episode 8 of season 2. Uh, no big thing. Uh, I don't like the flames on him. It, it doesn't suit him. I don't like it. The stars in the other episode, the way back, you know, when it was this stunt team thing, I quite like them, but not the flames, no. It doesn't look right to me at all, but there we go. Um, yep, kit's one of a kind, apparently. Songs from there, kit's functions, autopilot and photo scanner, pursuit mode, radar to a voice projector. Yeah. So, yeah, I don't like it. It's, it's tacky. It, it's more tacky than the stars. The stars were pretty tacky, but this is worse. Yeah, I don't like it at all. Uh, right, this build, we are doing the third wheel. One more to go. Uh, so we're going to be fitting the uh, in interior to the rubber, fitting this uh, nil bracket onto it, then fitting it onto the wheel, onto the car, then the hubcap goes on top. Um, yeah, exactly the same as we've done before, but slightly, I don't remember this bit from before, but it might be. But yeah, we'll, we'll do that in a moment. Uh, but first, we're going to look at Kit's appearance. It's a mire wherever it goes. Yeah, he, he, yeah, but not with the stars. No, don't like it. Super suit mode. Yeah, I quite like that. It was different, a futuristic redesign. The bits pop out, and yeah, I quite like that. But yeah, not that. Right. See you in a moment. Okay, so here we have once again the tire. Uh, is it? Does it matter which way around it goes? This side. Light, slightly bolder, nicer printing. So I'm going to have that on the outside. So we'll put that on there. Uh, this is a much nicer fit than one of the others. The first wheel was very, very tight, but this one seems to be quite nice. Uh, the inside piece obviously fits on on the inside, uh, and we're using EM screws. Hold that in place. So three of those. And now. Pretty sure it's the EM screws that hold the hubcap in place as well. Now, uh, this issue does come with a bonus hubcap uh, stapled to the outside of the packet. We've got one inside, and they seem to be the same. I can't see any differences between them. It isn't referenced in the instructions at all. Uh, so I don't know if it's a... If you damage one, you might need to use this as a spare or I, I can't think of any other reason. Um, they may be different. It might not fit the, the one that's on there, but it doesn't look any different. Uh, there may be some differences that are smaller than my eye can see. Uh, I guess we'll find out when I come to fit it on and we'll see if it is in fact gonna fit, but say it, it looks the same. But, uh, only time will tell, but that time's not that long ago, long, long in the future. Uh, I'm just putting the final screw into this wheel, and then I'll go back and tighten up the others. Go, that's the second one, and the final one just needs a few more turns. Yeah, much easier to do than the first wheel, I'm assuming that there was just some problems with designing of that. So that's that. Uh, let's have a look. We are using, again, more EM screws to hold this piece inside. So let's get three more of those out. It's obviously probably not EM screws that are going to hold this in place, the hubcap in place, because I've not got enough left. Uh, so this is fitting into there. Uh, it's like a particular way round it needs to go. There is a bit of a key in place there, but... Not really, not really. That looks like that will go anywhere around there. 
So I'll aim it up like that because that's nice and symmetrical. Get one in there and then make sure the other two line up and then tighten them all down. Yeah, this is definitely different to the front wheels. I don't recall this bit at all. So it'd be in the rear wheel. It's going to be a little bit different. We don't have steering to worry about. So go. That's that. Tighten all of these down. This is not going to be a functional piece, but as you can see it from the outside just about so it's worth putting it on there on obviously making sure it all looks as it should uh right so then i need to bring in the rest of the car we're going to be using this little plastic washer uh and an om screw will hold it together nice big chunky screw because it's only four of them that holding all the wheels on which is holding all the car up that on there uh, EM not using yet again so AM screws will be holding the hubcap in place in a moment I'm going to pop that on there and then pop that in there I know exactly what I'm doing with that let me bring in the chassis from all the way over there Bit there so that's going to go on there like so uh that uh, there is a key in place on there so i can't turn i don't quite understand why that would need to fit in there but we'll see we'll get that on and see what happens i think that's not going to go down no it's not going to key in place it's just going to be able to rotate like that get that tightened down it's that uh, it's not that because that's still wobbling that's quite tight which is a good thing you don't want it to be loose Yeah, a little bit more wobble there, so I can. You do want to make sure these are secure. So there we go. That's that. That will now turn both ways without any wobble. And that will go on there. Has it got a direction? It really hasn't. Is there are the hubcappy things, which yeah, I think it will go on any one of the five ways round. Like that. AM screws will hold that in place. Out a few of those one, two, three, four, five. There we go. Let's see if this fits. Certainly seems to. But barring any unforeseen problems with this attaching on there, that will be the end of another episode another stage closer to completion so uh yeah soon we shall be doing the interior and then the exterior and then we'll be done so there we have that i'll just tighten these down being careful not to skip and strip and damage the paintwork on these You want the shiny bits to look nice and shiny. So there we have it. Another wheel done. All nice and tidy. And now will it stand up on the three wheels? It will. It It's not quite right, but it's close enough. So that's that. That's another episode done. Another stage complete. I shall see you very shortly for the last of this month's deliveries. But until then, stay safe. I'll see you soon. Bye bye for now.